My name is Elise Smiley. At age 23, I married my um, uh, childhood sweetheart and love of my life, my soulmate, Doug Smiley. Um, we uh, were married for about 23 years, um, and we, had, we were blessed to have one child, um, Brian Smiley, who is 20 and now studying at Mississippi College. We both um, dealt with a lot of health problems. Um, my husband, Doug, had um, survived an aneurysm. He had a lot of complications from the aneurysm that caused a lot of pain, intense pain. So on May 5th, 2008, my um, husband, Doug, went in for what's considered an ordinary outpatient procedure. And, you know, we were real hopeful that that was going to help to make his situation and him not have the pain that he was having to deal with. And when the doctor came to the waiting room and found me, and he had a wide-eyed look on his face, I knew in that moment that this was not ordinary. He looked at me very seriously and said, Elise, Doug has suffered a cardiac arrest. I just was so shocked. And my thoughts quickly turned to Brian and I immediately came over with emotion because I could not bear the thought of having to tell him that his dad, what had happened and, and that his dad was, was on life support. I, I talked to Brian, I told him what had happened and we went in to see Doug and, and Brian, the look on his face was even more heartbreaking just to see the impact that it had on him. And so Brian and I prayed over Doug. And we prayed and we asked God, we pleaded with God um, to please wake Doug up and that he would have no brain trauma, that he would stand him up, Lord, please. We were all believing that God, God could heal him, he could wake him up and that he would, he would not have the severe brain trauma that he had. Three days passed, the doctors were less optimistic and Doug's condition had worsened and tough decisions had to be made. I was deeply sorrowful over losing Doug. He was our hero, he was our protector. He was Superman to me. And so when I didn't have Doug, I, I started to see um, how God moved in and there was an encounter with God that I didn't have before. His love was limitless. His, his power um, moved in and, and sheltered me and sheltered Brian in a way that, that there is no explanation. God gave me uh, worship songs, Carrie Job's music, um, I Am Not Alone and You Are For Me and Jesus Culture, Song of Solomon and songs that were deeply about, all about God's love. The enemy will lie to you and he'll say, you know, why, 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 why me? You know, why does this happen to me? And, and it'll take you to anger and bitterness. And God saved me from that. He protected my mind from that. God cares about you. God loves you. God has never left you. God will never forsake you. It's a story of God's great faithfulness and how much he loves me, how much he loves Brian, how much he loves you. I, I know that God has always been there with me. I never was abandoned. I never was forsaken. God moved in close to me when I didn't have the strength. He was always showing me his love. He was always wrapping his arms around me when I did feel alone, when I felt like I, I couldn't handle this. He was always there. He, he showed his love in a tremendous, mighty way.